Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about Web Extensions API and how it will be used to create add-ons for Mozilla Firefox. So Web Extensions API help us to build cross-browser uh, cross extensions. In this video, we'll be using Content Script to modify the functionality of the web page. So when we when I say cross-browser, so basically once we code, we can port it on Chrome Edge with some or none changes. So for this video. We will be creating an add-on which basically changes the functionality of the web page. Um, in this video, we will be creating an add-on which will um, create a border around the pages. So yeah, let's get started. So for that, we first need to create a folder. Let's name it content script. Now the first file which we need to create is manifest.json. Oh, okay I'm not allowed to create in the home folder but yeah so I'll try again manifest.json and let's put it in our folder content script cool so as by name it's JSON file so we need to mention the JSON data manifest version the first thing is manifest version so it tells the browser that we will be using web extensions API not the SDK. Second thing is name. That's the name of the add-on. Let's say content script demo. Third thing is description of add-on. It is um it changes the border of page. Then we have to put version of add-on 1.0 oh, let's say then we have to give icons to our add-on so i'm giving a generic 64px icon that's icon slash um let's say icon.png and these are the generic details which we need to almost iterate in every add-on first thing in manifest.version which tells the version of the manifest second thing is name of add-on third thing is description of add-on and this is version don't confuse between these two versions this version is manifest version which is two forever like this is static and this version is the current version of add-on like when you submit the update you have to go for incremental order like 1.1 or let's say 2 and these are the icons um, which will be reflecting in the listing of add-ons now we'll be using the content script So it accepts um, an array of content scripts. So first thing we'll be passing is JS file, which JS file we want to include. So here's an interesting thing. It always accepts an array, even if it's a single file. And there's another keyword matches. So what I will do, I'll pass a regular expression, which will match only on the sites which are having this mozilla.org keyword pretty neat we are done with your manifest.json so we'll quickly review it so before that i would like to mention they these two always go in couple for content script content script will only execute on the matched websites when the address has this uh, url has this mozilla.org in between then only this content.js will be executed on that specific web page. So yeah, let's uh, review our manifest.json. So first thing manifest.version by name. Second is name of add-on. Third is description of add-on. Then version of add-on. And again, this version, this version are different. Then icons which will be used in the listing. And then content script. Content script accepts the array of JavaScript which can be executed on given pages. So as we have mentioned here content.js so let's make this file. Okay I'll just copy it and create a new file save it in name of content.js in our content script folder and the only task I will be doing here is document.body.border 
no 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 dot style dot border equal to let's say 5px solid and let's say give it red color just too lazy to think of other color so yeah just red color so and we need to do one more thing since we have mentioned an icon here so we need to put an icon in our content script folder so let's create a folder icons and let's copy this icon for png and put it in here so that's pretty much for our first add-on um, we are almost ready to see what exactly it does so let's do this so this is the URL which we let let us to test our add-ons locally about colon debugging so let's load our temporary add-on so we have to select the manifest.json file okay this is our icon this is our name so let's test it oh it's already in action so it's mozilla.org and we have a red border all over the body so just to test it again let's select another color let's call it blue and give a bit broader so what we need to do is reload this and tada the blue so that's all the content script does basically whatever code you have here we put it into the matched url and that renders all of the code which is in content content.js so yeah here's our first add-on neat and ready that's all for this demo thank you for watching bye bye